Welcome back, Arnold fans, to another edition of the UIW Coaches Show. I'm your host, Carla Bello. The UIW baseball team went 2-2 last week as they defeated UMass 19-4 and some Houston State 8-2 but dropped the other two games to the Bearcats. The Cardinals exploded for 19 runs against UMass thanks to seven RBIs from freshman Taylor Smith as Smith hit a three-run homer and a grand slam to lead UIW. Women's tennis fell to Aveline Christian 6-1. Track and Field hosted the UIW Spring Break Invitational and won seven events on day one and 14 on day two. Women's golf finished fifth in the UTRGV Invitational while men's golf took home fourth in the bash at the beach tournament. Don't go anywhere. We will talk to our Cardinal coaches on the show coming up next. Hey guys, y'all need a ride? Let's go girls, hooked on a feeling I just want to use your love tonight Hold on. We the boys, yeah. I know when that hotline bling That can only mean one thing Spend my dollar, but I'm gonna holler Need the mountain moonlight So it's root, root, root for the Cardinals If they One, two, three strikes, you're out of the old ball game. Well done, well done, Lee. Hey, Cardinal fans, we have the baseball head coach, Patrick Hallmark. Hello, Coach, how are you? Hey, Carla, I'm good. Coach, what an impressive 19-4 victory against UMass. What's your analysis of the game? Well, the wind was blowing out, and we hit pretty good. So we hit several home runs. Um, Taylor Smith hit a couple of things. It was about a week ago now, but yeah, the wind was blowing out hard. So um, you just had to hit the ball up into the air to left field and you had a good chance for a home run. Coach Bernie Martinez was named the Statlin Conference Pitcher of the Week back on March the 5th. As a coach, how important it is for you to see the hard work of your student athletes recognized? Yeah, it's wonderful. It's, it's gratifying because Bernie does work really, really hard. He's a great uh, just example of what I think all of UIW wants our student athletes to be. He's a wonderful person off the field, super competitor and, and talented on the field and uh, has high character. So we couldn't be happier that Bernie got in. He deserved it. He's pitched well. We're trying to figure out exactly how to use him because he's valuable, um, you know, whether we use him as a starter or a reliever where he can pitch at the end of the game, that's how we've been using him because we need him to hold the leads when we got him. So as of now, that's what we'll keep doing. Coach, also talk about the potential of Taylor Smith. Right now, he is leading the team with seven home runs. Yeah, his potential's there to see. You know, we, we knew when we recruited him, he had a lot of potential, but he's uh, displaying it faster than we thought. So we're excited <laughs> about that, seven home runs. and. After this weekend, I think he's over 30 RBIs, which is incredible in about 20 games. So he's hitting right there in the middle of the lineup, and uh, he's having a good season. You know, he, he's freshman, obviously, and, and super talented, and uh, we just got to keep him going. Coach, you dropped the first game against some Houston State. However, the next day you were able to get that lead early. How important it is for you to have that lead early during the game? Well, I think... I think we can come back and, and win from behind as well. But at the end of the day, when you play Sam Houston, because of, you know, they're nationally recognized as a, as a top 25 team. So anytime you're playing those type of teams, just from a confidence standpoint, it's nice to get the lead early. Uh, we did it again Sunday. We just didn't hold on to it. So we swung the bats fine. Our offense actually played fantastic this weekend against a tough pitching staff. You know, the, the national writers deem their pitching staff as good as, some of the power fives in our state, which is as good as anybody. So we were impressive with the bat. We just needed to do a better job on the mound. We, we didn't get the job done from a pitching standpoint, and, and it happens sometimes, especially against a good team. But we got to go back to work and, and uh, iron out some of those kinks, and hopefully we keep swinging the bats the way we are. Yes, Coach. 
And finally, you are, you are scheduled to have a rematch against Texas State. What type of modifications are we going to see this time around? Well, hopefully we score more runs in them for one <laughs> modification. <laughs> um, we'll do a little bit different with the pitching. They did a good job um, handling some of our matchups pitching-wise, so we might stay with the starter a little longer, hopefully. You know, <laughs> you design it one way, it doesn't always work out that way, but last time we tried to match them up and throw a lot of pitchers at them, so we might modify that somewhat. Um, but at the end of the day, the guy that's pitching has got to be getting people out. If he's not getting them out, we got to make a change. So. We'll see. Um, you know, if we keep swinging the bats, we're going to be in every game. So hopefully we can do that. Well, Coach, thank you so much for being here today. And good luck against Texas State. Thank you. <laughs> nice to be here. Hi, my name is Danielle Martinez. I am a cross-country and track senior. Being able to run here at UIW has given me the opportunity not only to get a higher education, but to make some lifelong friends on the team and in my classes. Hello, my name is Gary Cortez, 1500 meter Southland Conference Champion here at UIW. Track and Fields really helped me build a family and made me a leader on and off the track. We would really appreciate your support. Thank you. Thank y'all for your help and support and continue to help us grow as a program. Hey Cardinal fans, we have the women's and men's cross country track and field head coach, Dr. Derek Riddle. Hello, Coach. How are you? Good. How are you, Carla? Good. Good to have you back. It's good to be back. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Coach, your team was definitely not on spring break mode this past weekend. No, we weren't. Your team won more than 30 individual events at the mm -hmm. UIW Spring Break Invitational on Thursday and Friday. Mm -hmm. After seeing these results, what's the key to having a constant and powerful performance throughout different uh, track events? Uh, just having a well-rounded team makes a big difference. Uh, you know, having a lot of focused athletes and good leadership. Uh, we, we actually sat out, you know, eight or nine of our top scores from the conference meet that were still a little, you know, worn out, so to speak, from conference. So we sat them out, gave some opportunities to some of the younger athletes to, to showcase what they're capable of doing. And they did a good job. They always love running and competing at our home track, and they always do a great job. But... Yeah, it was a good meet. Weather was beautiful Thursday, a little colder Friday, but they still competed well. Yes, Coach. And also during this meet, your team had 20 different personal records. Talk about some of these personal achievements. Uh, it, was, it was a great start to the season. Anytime you can set 20 personal records and, and win as many events as we did at the first meet of the season, it's a good start for outdoor. Uh, it's a good building block, and, and it, it keeps our momentum going and gives us a lot of... Uh, a lot of uh, you know, positive energy moving forward. But uh, some of the big ones were Maddie Miles, Madison Miles uh, jumped really well, winning the long jump. Oh, Holly Amacor, uh, she's a freshman. She set a, a one foot personal record, roughly one foot in the long jump. Uh, those, those were great performances that really stood out from the first day. Coach, and finally, how do you know in which event to put your student athlete in that helped them be the most successful? No, it's just talent identification. You know, we try to make them as versatile as possible, as well-rounded as possible. We don't want somebody that, for instance, only long jumps. You know, we want somebody that, that if they're a long jumper, they can also run the 100, the 200. They can run on the 4x1 and the 4x4 relays. Um, so, you know, identifying, you know, their, their personality, their work ethic, their body build, uh, making them as versatile as possible and helping them believe that they can be good in more than just one event. So everybody on the team has a primary event, but we move them around. You know, so for instance, Madison Miles, she may not even long jump at this next meet. She you know, does the hurdles, she runs on the relays, she does high jump, she's a heptathlete, multi-event athlete, so she'll do some other events at the next meet. She got a good long jump out of the way, but now she long jumps so well at our home meet that we have uh, uh, a good feeling that she can improve a little bit more and be at the NCAA first round in Sacramento in May. Wow. So we just have to improve about six or eight more inches and she can be there. Wow, well, Coach, thank you so much for being here and keep up the hard work. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you, Carla. Thanks for having me. Hey Cardinal fans, we have the men's tennis head coach, Jonas Anderson. 
Hello, Coach. How are you? Hi, I'm great. Thanks for having me. Thanks for being here. Coach, your team won against Buckle University 6-1. to one. What did your team do that was so effective? Well, I think because we played Texas A&M the day before, so we came back. Everybody you know, was playing against really high-ranked level players, and it, it really showed that they kept the intensity up and everyone played really well. What were some of the tactics implemented on this match that allow your team to be so victorious? Well, I think it started off with, with doubles. When you start off with the doubles, you've got to win two out of three. Um, and if you can get that doubles point, that will kind of carry the momentum into the singles. And I think that really showed because you know if you get that one extra point, you need three singles wins to, to get the whole win. So, and everybody played really well and with a lot of energy from the beginning. Talk about Paco Andana. What has he brought to the team that allowed you guys to continue to be successful throughout this season? Well, so Paco is our team captain. Um, he shows a lot of energy, a lot of passion out there. And, uh, and if he's on and he gets fired up and playing well, it kind of feels like it triggers everyone else and everybody else gets pumped. And <laughs> so he, he shows a lot of passion out there, which, which is great to have. And that's what we look for in, in our players. And finally, what's your scouting report on the Laredo Community College? Well, Laredo has always been, I think they're ranked four in the nation right now uh, in junior college. I mean, they always have a lot of, you know, good, good players. Um, and most of them coming out of that program will go to really good Division I schools. So uh, it's going to be a good match. We're going to do a double header. We're going to do 11. And I think the next one's going to be at 1 o'clock. So it'll be some good matches. Well, Coach, thank you so much for being here and good luck. Thank you very much. Hey, Cardinal fans, we have the women's tennis head coach, Devin Walke. Hello, Coach, how are you? Good, thanks for having me again. Thanks for being here. No problem. <laughs> coach, what has your team stressed during practice since the last match? Um, we just focused on um, becoming better at what we try to do. Um, we can't control a lot of what the other, our opponents do. Um, so we're just trying to you know, best use our strengths to get them better. So it's just kind of um, you know, developing a game plan for each person and just kind of trying to implement that you know, throughout a you know, consistent practice. Coach, how is tennis different from any other sport and how are you guys condition to be able to get to that stamina or have that stamina? Um, I think you know, tennis is very unique in the conditioning aspect um, because it's a lot of quick change of direction sprints, um, so they need to be quick and agile. So we do a lot of change of direction, you know, quick, quick change of direction. Um, and then also, you know, the matches are two and a half, three hours long, so it's not just going to be quick. It's going to be a marathon. So we have to have you know long distance training in there as well. So we do kind of like circuit training where it's quick versus sprints, break, quick versus sprints, quick break. You know, type of that thing where you get a little bit of everything because it's, it's completely different than any other sport. Coach, thank you so much for being here and it's always a pleasure to have you here. Thanks for having me again. Stay up to date with UIW Cardinal Athletics this week as baseball host Texas State on Tuesday at 6.30 p.m. before going on the road for a three-game series against McNeese. Suffolk travels to Texas State on Wednesday before returning home for a three-game series against Central Arkansas on Friday and Saturday. The Cardinals play a doubleheader on Friday with games at 5 p.m. and 7 p.m. The series finale is on Saturday at noon. Track and field will participate in the Valor Invite on Saturday, while women's golf will play in the Husky Invitational, hosted by HBU. Men's tennis travels to Laredo on Wednesday at 11 a.m., and women's tennis host Southeastern Louisiana on Saturday at 11 a.m. For more news and updates on all UIW sports, make sure to follow us at UIW Athletics on social media and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. For UIW Athletics, I'm Carla Bello. Have a beautiful day.